It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Beer Brewery Conig Schuven, and it's a bottle of the Earthel Hoppet. Founded in Flanders and it's coming in at 9.5% ABV. There's a look at the bottle cap. Let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Ooh, loads of smoke on the opening. At this stage of the review, I'd like to thank our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK. Look at that! Doesn't that look absolutely fantastic? It's a four-finger creamy head with loads of roaring carbonation. Look at that. It's picking up my face. I'm going to put my face behind the glass just to show you the pure rage in this beer. Wow. Yes, Beers of Europe, largest online beer store in the UK. Great beers from Belgium. Great beers from Germany and France and America and the UK and Italy. And, and well, I've had beers from Brazil, Belgium, Brazil, I've said Brazil, I meant Australia. Great, great beers from Australia. And generally, if you've been on holiday and you want something really decent, uh, you've tried something really decent and you get home and you think I'm missing that beer, then check it out, beersofeurope.co.uk. You'll generally find it. Right, let's get on with this beer. That looks great. Aroma on this lovely, clean, crisp, light coloured ale. Oh, wow. Picking up a little bit of, well, not a little bit, lots of candied fruit, lots of banana. Lots of sweet malt and of course that Belgium yeast. It smells great. I'm gonna dive in. Cheers. Wow. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, that is something very special. Um, it's 9.5% ABV, so obviously you're gonna get a little kick of alcohol in there. Um, it's one of them beers that, yes, I did pick up the alcohol, but that hop bitterness, that hop flavor just carries the beer. It just carries it nicely, that ABV. As you would expect from a Belgian beer, there's lots of floating suspended yeast in the beer. Can you see that? So we'll get to that in a moment. We have some in the glass. That's what's causing that lovely raging carbonation. I think that looks so, so pretty in the glass, especially in 4K. got a medium mouthfeel so there's lots of malt added to the beer so there's like that lovely almost stout like mouthfeel creamy mouthfeel lots of rasping bitterness on the back end and it's not from American hops it's lots of rasping bitterness coming from from Belgium British German hops traditional hops if you know what I'm saying Lots of candy fruit, lots of carbonation. All in all, a very good beer. 
And how many beers can you say you've seen that are 9.5% ABV and they've created and kept a head like that? That is unbelievable, if you think about it. Normally a beer, I've brewed a beer in the past, a, a mint chocolate imperial stout that just couldn't create a head for love, no money. This, on the other hand, is just half a percent down on what we brewed with the Masters Brewery and it's got a great thick creamy head. So it's a little bit piney, it's a little bit nettly, and it's a little bit great. It's one of them beers, I, 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 it's dangerous. It's gone, it's 9.5% ABV and it's, it's, it's nearly gone. It's just one of them beers you continuously want to drink and drink and drink. Right, let's see if I can show you. Nah, it's not going to let me. Yes, it will. So, there we go. You can see all the, the bits and pieces floating around in the glass. Looks really nice. And well, the head just speaks great beer. I'm gonna wrap this review up now. There's a look at the beer with the yeast added. You know what you're gonna get, that lovely cloudy, yeasty complexity to the beer. I'm gonna rate it. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 for Real Ale Craft Beer. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers.